this is the day the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. We bless God for you tuning in again. My name is Evangelist Anita Hewitt. We bless God. This is 3 o'clock p.m., and hallelujah, we are going to go before the Lord. I would love for you to partnership with us we are truly a ministry that's on the move mcn ministry where we just came back from africa and we're planning to go back this year as well as go to india pakistan um, australia we are canada and wherever the lord leads us and if you want a partnership with this ministry it will truly be a blessing please visit us at our web page at www.brianhewitt.com or uh, if you choose to write a check please make it payable to MCN ministry it will truly be a blessing you will receive a blessing for seeding into fertile ground for truly we are standing on the Word of God and we are preaching the Word of God and may God bless you let's go before the Lord most gracious Father, we come before you right now, Lord, in the matchless name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for every blessing you have for us this day. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for having a teachable spirit. Father God, use us to your glory. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, Lord Jesus, let self die and let you increase mightily in my life today, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for everyone that's tuning in with us. Father God, let God pour out the blessings that will overflow lord in the name of jesus and father god we thank you lord jesus for those that are seeking the lord for a healing for truly the word of god says lord you sent the word and healed them father god we send healing to the north to the south to the east to the west right now lord in the matchless name of jesus father god we thank you lord jesus for being jehovah rapha you're the god that heals Father God, every organ, every tissue in our body is functioning in the perfection which God created to function. We will continue on giving you praise, giving you glory, for there is none like you in the matchless name of Jesus. And Father God, we thank you for being Jehovah Jireh. You're the God that provides, Father God. We thank you for making provisions for us daily, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for every need is already met in you. And Lord Jesus, we just thank you for every blessing. Again, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that your word shall not return to a void, but it shall accomplish that it was sent to do. Father God, we thank you for souls to be one. Father God, it's not about me, but it's about the kingdom of God. And Lord Jesus, we thank you for every blessing in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. We bless God for you. And this is our three o'clock time for us to dive in the word of God. We bless God. Today we're going to talk about Beatitudes, the Beatitude. It's an attitude that Christians need to stay in. It is called the Beatitudes. And Jesus taught the disciples. They went. He went on top of a mountain. He, he started just expressing, blessed are this, and blessed, and blessed. So what my husband and I always say, please get your Bible. We're going to be in Matthew. We're going to Matthew chapter 5, and we're going to read verses 3 through 11. There are nine Beatitudes, and every day at 3 o'clock, we're going to talk about one of the Beatitudes. But we're going to read them all t together right now. And when you have it, say amen. Get a pen and a piece of paper, because there are some wonderful scriptures that's going to come with this. Hallelujah. I'm reading from Matthew 5, starting at verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for they, for theirs a kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are they that, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the, are, are the pure in heart, for they shall seek God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, 
for theirs the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye, are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for for my name's sake hallelujah and what i love about verse 12 it says rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you in other words you're not you're not in this thing alone hallelujah you're not the first person you won't be the last there were prophets that stood up before God and they were persecuted so we're blessed so we're going to talk about the first one blessed is the poor in spirit for there's the kingdom of heaven we're going to talk about that and we're going to talk about how important it is now isn't it amazing that this is really for the Christians this is this is the attitudes that we as Christians should be in. Beatitudes instruct Christians on how to live. They command the uh, commandments are clear and the benefits are bundleful. Each beatitude begins with the promise of blessedness. Explain the conditions to receive the blessings and the conclusion with the blessings bestowed isn't it amazing it talks about blessed blessed means fortunate extremely blessed and well off so we are fortunate blessed are the poor in spirit for there's the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven so therefore we must understand this that we are fortunate for the poor in spirit now when the bible says the poor in spirit the bible is not referring to material you know like i'm poor i have no money it's talking about spiritual poor spiritual poverty because too many times if we're not careful we think it's all about us we get all haughty and it's because i got a job because i got a good job because i went to school and i got the grades and i sacrificed and because i sacrificed i got this six-figure job no you must be humble because if it wasn't for god you would not be right where you are so a lot of times, if we're not careful, we start puffing up ourselves. And the only way that you can receive every blessing, every benefit of the beatitude is, first thing is that you must be humble. You must show a spirit of humility. I must be humble. See, the poor in spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we must be humble to receive the blessings of the Lord. For the kingdom of heaven, we're talking about, so, so when it says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for they shall obtain, for they shall, for, for there's the kingdom of heaven. So therefore, we must understand that as we, humble ourselves and receive Jesus Christ as Lord the reward is heaven and how many people want to go to heaven I know I do I know that I'll see my husband I know I'll see hallelujah a lot of my relatives there because of they learned how to be humble humility is the key humility we must be humble because it's not about us it's about Jesus. It's about he who died and rose again, and that is on the cross. That had died, and on the third day he rose, and he, we are serving a living Savior today. Hallelujah. And Jesus always says we must be like a child. Jesus says that a person will have to be like a childlike faith. According to Matthew 18, 3 and 4, and the poor in spirit 
in order to enter into the kingdom of God, the blessings extended to those who will become poor in spirit is that they will receive the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Like a child. A child is open. A child is honest. A child receives. A child is meek. And they don't know any sin because of their children. So therefore, blessed are the children. See, so God says, forbid not the children to come unto me. For there is the kingdom of heaven. So therefore, we must be like a child. Too many times we have forgotten to be humble. We have forgotten to be nice. We have forgotten to be trustworthy. And, and just trust, Lord Jesus. Trust the word of God and stand on it. And just be childlike to receive every blessing. God said it. And because God said it, it will manifest. So we must be that. We must. And we know, again, the phrase of poor in spirit, the word um, poor comes from the Greek word, which means that it's a crutch or beggar or, or a, you know, or like crippled. But it also means that we must be broken. We must be humbled to receive. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Lord, I'm receiving. I'm humble. It's nothing about Anita. It's not about Evangelist Anita. It's not about my husband, Pastor Bryant. It's about Jesus. And I'm open to receive the blessings of the Lord. I would like for you to get a pen and a piece of paper because I'm going to give you some scriptures. One moment. And the scriptures... Again, we're talking about the poor in spirit. So the person who realizes that he or she cannot save himself, that they are without their ability, but is to glorify God, not to glorify themselves. See, it's not about me. And see, too many times we get caught up in that. Okay, spiritual poor has a kind of sense of, of uh, their own sinful sinfulness and needs and needs God's grace. In other words, is that it you could be spiritually poor, and this is where it says, "Blessed are the poor in spirit." See, you must be poor in spirit. In other words, it's saying that you got to be broken, you got to be humble, because it's not about you. Because if because if you think it's about you, then you're going to miss the blessings that God has for you. And in Luke 18, 13, it says that the publican stood afar off and would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven but smoked his breast and said, God, be merciful unto me, for I'm a sinner. See, this man was humble. It's all about being humble. It's all about Lord Jesus. I'm not worthy, but Lord, I thank you that you made me worthy. Hallelujah. I'm humble. I'm bowing down because it's not about me. It's about God. Hallelujah. And in and see, and so this thing was that this publican, he was boasted. He was boasted that I'm this and I'm that and I did this, but I'm not like this person here. But who, whom God received the blessing was about this man who was humbled, where that he couldn't even lift up his eyes and say, Lord, I know I'm a sinner. I know I need you. I'm not even worthy. But God, Lord Jesus, be merciful for me. Give me mercy, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And that's the attitude. That's the be attitude that Christians must be. We must be humble. Hum humility is the key to be in heaven with God. Hallelujah, no matter how God uses you, no matter how many gifts you have that operates, you could have all the gifts, but if you do not have love, if you do not have humility, then these are just gifts that you were born with. But it's not about you. However, wherever the Lord takes you, stay humble. Humility is the key. You must stay humble. Hallelujah. The attitude in um, Isaiah 6 and 5, he says, Then I, woe, 
Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man with unclean lips, and dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King of the Lord of hosts. In other words, Lord Jesus, forgive me. Lord Jesus, for me. Lord Jesus, I am just a person that's undone. Lord, I need you. I cannot do it without you. Hallelujah. My lips are unclean. I may say things that I really don't mean. And Lord Jesus, forgive me. And not only that I'm sin, but I'm hanging around people that are unclean as well. But God, Lord Jesus, now that I've seen you, hallelujah, now that I know, hallelujah, I want to be, hallelujah. I want to be right in your eyesight, Lord, because he says, because I've seen the king of Lord. I've seen the king of the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. For truly you're the king of kings and Lord of lords. And hallelujah, when God comes into your life, hallelujah, isn't it amazing that God starts cleaning you up? Hallelujah. But first of all, we must be humble. Hallelujah. Our spirit must be broken. Hallelujah. The poor in spirit. Lord Jesus, I thank you that my spirit is broken. Now that I'm broken, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, I am open to receive the word of God. And the word of God is marrow to my bones. Hallelujah. It's spiritual food. Hallelujah. So because when we're open to receive the word of God, then that's when God could build us up. And then when we start learning the word of God, we'll be able to walk accordingly to what God tells us and how for us to walk so at the end the kingdom of God the reward is heaven hallelujah and Lord I don't want all of my fasting I don't want all of my praying I don't want all of my preaching and teaching to be in vain what is a man profit to win the whole world and lose your very own soul? What is it so? What is it profit if I preach like a mad woman? Hallelujah. And many souls get saved, but yet that my own soul is lost. My God, that's a tragedy. So therefore, hallelujah, because I love the Lord, because I'm lining up my life to the word of God, because I am taking off the things of the world and putting on more Christ Jesus. It's like, it's like a taking up, it's like a wardrobe. I'm, I'm taking off the things of the world. I cannot allow the things of the world to, to uh, come upon me. So when I find that it's on me, Lord, I start shaking it off. I take that off and put on more word. Hallelujah. I lay before God and I seek God's face and ask God to forgive me and strengthen me where I'm weak because God, I need you. Hallelujah. I cannot do it within myself. Hallelujah. It's a blessing to be married to, to a Pastor Hewitt. But hallelujah, I need you, Lord. Hallelujah. Because you're the lover of my soul. Hallelujah. You are the you are the just judge that when I have to come before you on that great day, I have to stand before you. And hallelujah, I want to be spotless. I don't want no you know, no spot, no wrinkle, no, no such blemish. Hallelujah. I want to be pure when I stand in front of you for you are my judge. Hallelujah. In the book of John five and 30, the word of God says, I can for mine eyes shall do nothing. Shall I hear? I judge and my judgments are just. Because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father which has sent me. In other words, the words I speak are not Anita's. The words I speak is the Lord's. And hallelujah, when you start speaking the word of God, like we've been talking about praying the scriptures, when we seek God's word, hallelujah, and we start speaking his word, hallelujah, we come in agreement with the Lord. And God's word is sharper than any two-edged sword. And because it is alive and powerful, hallelujah, we're coming together with power so john was saying that the words i speak are not mine the words that i hear if god tells me to say something i'm going to tell you hallelujah the judgments are just because it comes from the lord so what i seek is not my own but i'm seeking the will of the father because it's not about me hallelujah again it is not about me because we are blessed blessed are the poor in spirit 
for there is the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Because we're poor in spirit, because our spirit has been broken. The Bible says a broken heart and a contrite spirit will no wise I cast away. So therefore, when we're broken, hallelujah, God can come in when our heart is open and say, God, please come in and minister to me, Lord, because I need you. Hallelujah. I can't do this without you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And according to Philippians 3 and 8, yea, yea, doubtless, and I count all things to be lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ. For I, for my Lord, for whom I have suffered and lost all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ. In other words, see, Paul was saying that, hey, everything that I have, every because paul said i can speak every language i you know i'm born with so many gifts but he said all of my knowledge and all of my thinking and all of my education i call it as dung as nothing as dung but just to suffer but i want all things it says but i may win christ Hallelujah. It's all about Jesus. It's not about me. It's all it's not about my education. It's not about how I was raised. It's not about what's in my bank account, what's what's in there, what's not in there, but it's all about Jesus. Everything else doesn't mean a hill of beans. My opinion does not mean a hill of beans. But what does God say? Hallelujah. I can't worry about what people may say about me or about the ministry or about my husband. Because hallelujah, what's most important when the rubber really truly meets the road. Hallelujah is most important. What does God say about us? Hallelujah. And we will stand before a just judge. Hallelujah. That will judge us according to our work so whatever you do for the Lord will last hallelujah so we must know this for ourselves we must know the word we must learn how to stand on his word because hallelujah whatever you do for the Lord is going to last hallelujah amen 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 hallelujah and in Luke 5 and 8, when Simon, P when Simon P Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinner. I, I am a sinful man, O Lord. In other words, when we stop, drop, and roll our lives over to God, hallelujah, I need you, Lord, because I cannot make it without you. Hallelujah, I need you to come into my life, God, because hallelujah, I am I I I am sin. I am born shaped in iniquity and did my mother conceive me. So therefore, because I have sin in my life, I need you to come in and clean me. Lord, cleanse me with cleanse me with your word. Cleanse me with your blood. Hallelujah. The Bible says even though my sins may be as crimson, mean as red as scarlet, but Lord, I know that you can wash me whiter than snow. So Lord, I need you to come into my life today. God, I need you. Hallelujah. As the lover of my soul, I truly need you, Lord, because I can't do it without you. Again, we're talking about, hallelujah, recipes on how to be blessed. Hallelujah. And the first one we talking about, we talked about the beatitude. And it says, blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the poor in spirit. For there is the kingdom of heaven. So because of that, Lord, I am blessed. I am blessed. And I am blessed beyond measure. Because God has blessed us. Because God has has came into our lives. Because God has came into our lives. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we are blessed. We are fortunate. And because of that, we bless God for every blessing that God has for us. But if you don't know the Lord as your personal Savior, now is the time to get it right. Because we don't know 
the day nor the hour when the Son of Man is coming. And we truly want heaven to be our home. We want to receive the blessings of the Lord. But if we don't know the Lord, then we're not going to we're going to miss the blessings. The Bible says that no man can serve two two masters, either that he serves God and hate and 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 or hate the other or serve Satan or hate God. So one or the other. So we cannot serve two masters. So because said we cannot and we're choosing today that Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior of my life. He is the master, hallelujah, of my life. Now, because I may not know him right now, let's take out the time and get to know the Father. Because God says, if you open up my open up your heart, he will come in and have sup with you. Hallelujah. He will come in and save you. Hallelujah. And it's all about winning souls to Christ. It's all about the kingdom. It's not about how we preach, how my husband preached. It's about souls to be won. So according to Romans 10 and 10, for with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Hallelujah. And when you drop down to verse 13, it's whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hallelujah. Please repeat this prayer right after me. Dear God, I admit I'm a sinner. I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place, paying the penalty for my sins. I turn my sins and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit to come into my life and fill me and take full control and help me to become the person that you wanted me to become. Thank you, Father, for loving me in Jesus name. And if you said that simple prayer, all heaven is rejoicing. My husband, Pastor Brian and myself, we are rejoicing. Please visit our webpage at www.brianhewitt.com. Give us a testimony and give us a prayer request. We'd love to hear from you. And if you want to seed into this ministry, because this ministry is fertile ground, please go to our website, www.brianhewitt.com, and click on the donation. It truly will be a blessing. God will bless you beyond measure. And we just thank God for learning the recipe, hallelujah. What I love about the Bible is that it is a recipe of life. It's how we need to live so we can make heaven our home, hallelujah. Again, the title of this lesson is The Recipe for Blessings. And we just covered the beatitude. We covered the first beatitude, which was blessed is the poor in spirit, for there's the kingdom of heaven. And hallelujah, we are going to pray out right now. Most gracious Father, we thank you and praise you for the word of God that went forth today in power. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Not one word has fell upon deaf ears, but it but it has accomplished that it was sent to do. Father God, we just love you this day. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the recipe of blessings. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that we're learning how to be in the right attitude so we can receive the blessings of the Lord. And Father God, we just thank you for every blessing you have for us this day. Continue on pouring out your blessings, continue on having your angels encamped around about us, protecting us from seen and unseen danger. Father God, we thank you for souls to be one in Jesus' name. And if you had said this prayer and dedicated your life to the Lord, that's the greatest first step. The second step is to ask God for you, ask God to lead and guide you to the right Bible teaching church where it's preaching the word of God and get active in Bible study because that's where you grow and hear the word of God and learn the word of God and you can be strengthened through the word of God. And again, we thank you for tuning in to the Hewitt channel. My name is Evangelist Anita Hewitt. My husband will be on at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please come back, tune back in. You're in for a blessing. We love you with the love of the Lord. And until we meet again, may God bless you and keep you.